top runs. Uh, that's a hard thing. It's been crazy to see it evolve. So much insanity in years past. Each year, it seems like the competition stepped up a few standout for sure. I remember the first year thinking about best runs. There was so much uncertainty the first year, and uh, Hans Mindich put down a back three to open it up, and it just relieved everybody. Big exhale. Jeff Ledger, uh, I remember him kind of coming on the left side and just like front flipping into it. <laughs> it's just like, what? For the female side of it, I think Kate Zeliff, Aaron from the top, and you know, just lace it and just go full torque out of the couloir, like hauling. She did it the next year. She was back-to-back -back queen. First thing that comes to mind was Carl, like the first year, just kind of putting the course to shame in a way, like the way he kind of just got in there in the second run. Travis Rice's run was all time. We had skiers on the top of the podium and to have Travis come in and do the event, you know, just to have his energy. Just to see him operate and such confidence and grace, man, he just put one down in there. Parkin and uh, Jake Hopfinger. The first year that they built the like really steep, quick lip at the top was just a trip. Double backflips going into it. Watching Jake, he definitely gave me a boost of confidence seeing that it came around right to his feet. And definitely, as I dropped in, I just had to mimic what he did. It's kind of crazy, like a dub backflip's like now a mellow trick. <laughs> It was the year of the doubles. Sam Cooch came in, stomped the dub cork 10. Big old dub 10 and somehow recovered in time and hit the next jump and yeah, it was wild. Jake Hoffinger stomping the dub flat. Stalled out midway. Everyone thought he was gonna under-rotate, but the way he brought it around was so dope. There's just draw-dropping moments that have gone down, and um, one of those is Veronica Paulson's just big, lofty backflip, super stomp. Of course, Veronica Paulson, uh, with the stamp of the century into there, she's worked so hard to do that, and it was awesome to see it play out for her. Veronica, I mean, her backflip in that she stomped was pretty much the craziest thing I've ever seen a girl do on skis. Top run, yeah, probably Carl Fosbeth switch nine off the top. Yeah, once he was in there, he just did what Carl does. Steez, speed, just the combination of it all. Pretty insane, because the bar had already been set once again, kind of like year one, he just like got his mode, did it, and also did it in like the crappiest conditions. It was no walk in the park in there. Trevor Kennison, obviously, is the one that's burned into everybody's brain. I saw Trevor just hanging out up top the day that he hit it, and I thought he was just up there to stoke everyone out. I didn't realize he was going full send. When I jumped off of it, bouncing, and then getting here, skiing, and then I couldn't see anything, and then stopping, just hearing the roars from the top, from the bottom, that like gave me goosebumps. It was just super cool to hear. I'm speechless, you know, of the feeling I got in that, in the cool art from that. So it meant the world to me because it definitely like jump-started my career. 
Ponce uh, Minich's back three wall ride was just probably the gnarliest thing that's ever gone down in the history of snowboarding. Couldn't believe my eyes what I was seeing. But, I mean, just literally, what the? <laughs> seeing what's happened over the last five years is just never thought we'd be where we are now. It's crazy, man, what this contest has brought out and how it's helped with progression. Just stoked to be a part of it and glad Jackson throws down and makes this happen.